Uh, my name is uh, Martijn de Kuiper. I'm the CEO of uh, the company Adek. And Adek is a small family-owned business. Uh, my grandfather started in uh, 1965, so we're now the third generation. We mainly, our uh, focus is uh, chipping, so uh, turning, milling, um, in combination with welding. We do it from little parts till, for a medium-sized company, uh, big parts. We do, for example, their R&D uh, stuff. They send us drawings and we make the parts to test there if it's uh, okay or not. That kind of work uh, is done by ADEC. When I was in high school, I was uh, quite good at mathematics, physics, uh, all the technical um, uh, stuff. I was um, lacking still some commercial um, skills, so I chose to go for an, uh, an MBA. Uh, so I did two years MBA, uh, improving my commercial skills and my uh, management skills. Afterwards, I decided to go to work for um, General Motors, not directly to, in this company, but uh, to, for General Motors to create an, a backbone and to have a, an own uh, view. So I did their supply quality engineering and also a uh, couple of years of uh, purchasing department. Then after five years, I came here in this business. I, saw, I did some different things than my father, so uh, I, we invested in more bigger machines. I attracted some new customers who have a more steady background for, uh, for, for the future of this company. And the major thing, difficulty of, for, of growth is actually uh, leaving the business a little bit because when, when I came here, I'm very focused on production and to see that everything went, goes well. But to grow, we have to uh, let it go a little bit. And you have to see that your employees and the background is ready to take over the, the difficulties of production. And that's now one of the points that I'm struggling with and looking for some solutions to see, to grow, to uh, release myself a little bit from production, go a little bit more commercial. Yeah, looking for those uh, solutions. I think it was uh, 2019, um, so we were ready for an, another investment. Also, when we do an investment, we want to do an investment not only covering what we can do, but what we can uh, do a little bit more. Uh, so at that time, uh, we made uh, homework and we sent the RFQ for some companies. At that time, SMEC was not yet in Belgium, um, so it was really lucky that SMEC was included because uh, we already know Tecmo for, uh, for a long time and we have some machines of Tecmo. So uh, I told it to some guy who told Tecmo and then in one day they called me, can we uh, make also an offer? The price was very good and I have a lot of confidence in, uh, in Tecmo because we uh, were happy of their service and they, they are uh, very technical, uh, technical skills. Visit first Before we uh, purchase it, we visited a SMEC machine in Italy because you have a big, uh, uh, big stock in, in Italy and also a lot of uh, customers. So we were very pleased to see the machine and also the, the, the persons of the, the company there were very pleased of the SMEC. So we had a lot of confidence. So that's why we uh, purchased the, the SMEC machine. Actually, it was a really uh, lucky thing that we bought a SMEC because um, our employee who's working with the SMEC is also very happy. It's very robust, uh, heavy machine. So the, the, the parts that come out of it are very, uh, very good and uh, the production times are, are very good as well. So we're very happy.